you are absolutely welcome. This is Indani TV Spotlight. I'm Falu and we are at the GT Bank Food and Drink Fair 2016 and it is incredible. Look at this place. Gathered here today, we have all types of food vendors. We have master classes from some of the best chefs in the country and of course a few from outside Nigeria as well. So many things to explore. If you want ice cream, they got it. You like Gary, they got it too. So come with me and let's go inside and see what else is in store. This is in Danny TV. Let's go. It was an amazing masterclass. How do you feel? Excited, actually, like I'm buzzing because I, got, I think I had amazing helpers at each station, yourself included, and yeah, and then the audience was great as well, and it was an opportunity to share my love for Nigerian food and ingredients, so I really enjoyed it. Talk to us about what inspired your choice of uh, meals today and what you made. Um, well, of course, the biggest inspiration is Tarragon, which is um, my newest baby. It's the restaurant um, which is attached to the Culinary Academy, the culinary school which I promote. And we have the Atlantic Pompano, which is quite popular on the menu. And we've put it out there on Instagram and quite a number of people have gone, oh, wow, what are those? What is this? So I said, hey, why not do something that's quite popular in the restaurants here and just let everybody understand how it's made. It will never taste the same if they make it sharp. You see, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. You have to go to the restaurant at the end of the you day. You have to go to the restaurant. So tell us about the masterclass. How did you find well, it? Well, the class was really about how do you keep your identity as we're evolving. We don't have to forget about our African roots, but we also have to evolve into new flavors. But it's also about dreamers. All of these people are entrepreneurs. And it's very important as food entrepreneurs to stick together. What was the particular reason you chose Popo for today's masterclass? A lot of these recipes actually came out of not wanting to throw stuff away. So once I had really ripe Popo and I had chilies, and I was like, oh, I could just cook it down to make a jam. But I think that Popo is a great ingredient that has so many characteristics. Typically in Nigerian cuisine, we tend to focus on a few recipes with ingredients. So if we're eating Gary, we just stick with Gary. Uh, if we're eating Popo as a fruit, we stick with Popo. But there are like a million other things that you could do with it. And my desire and my philosophy um, in the new Nigerian kitchen is really to take an ingredient and to explore as many possibilities as I can from sweet to savory. Okay, I'm showcasing um, how you can use uh, a vegetable, chicken, and bell peppers today. Very simple dish. So I thought, let me not do something so difficult and let me do something that people can go back home and recreate. And they're like, really? It was that easy? So that's my goal. Hi, I'm Elfrida Ibork. I've attended two of the classes, one of Chef Ozo Soko, and the second one was from Tian Alile, Chef Tian. They have been awesome, great lectures going on. Yeah, I've been around the fair as a whole, it's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. My name is Davis Obieke. Okay, I have attended two so far, that of Ozo's and um, Tian, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, Ozozi's palm wine shandy to die for, to die for. Um, Tiana Lily's um, cream, potato cream that she made um, from garlic, that too was good, very good. would you have for the aspiring master chefs out there, the people who are trying to get a little bit more involved in cooking and well, how can they do that? Well, aspiring chefs, I would say, I, I think I said it during my class, it is work, it is hard work. It's beyond what you see on Instagram and all of that. It is actually work. It is very intense. If it's, if it's your passion, follow it. If it's, your, if it's your daydream, make it your daily routine. If it's your dream at night, wake up in the morning and pursue your dreams. Do it. It's just I, I decided to take the plunge and here I am. Hey. Yeah, you know what? I think it's never been a more exciting time to be part of the industry. You can have your own food truck. You can have your own restaurant. You can have your own food blog. There's so many opportunities for young people to get involved and the consumer wants to know about it. So how do you reach your consumer? It's really all about what this festival is about. Truthfully, I think this is good. Um, this inspires some of us who want to do this for real. Um, we've always been saying that Nigerian cuisine 
isn't celebrated enough and it's simple. It's because we've not found new ways of reinventing our dishes. You know, so this helps us think of new ways to reinvent our amala, our ewedu and whatnot. Bank food and drink fair in general. Have you been around? What Let you me love tell about you, I, I've walked everywhere. This is amazing. I can't believe this is Lagos. Um, every, it's well put together. The structure, the stalls. It's not like the normal store where they just give you a canopy and that's it. It's like people have kitchens and whatnot. The master class thing is one of the best stages I think I will ever be on. So it's really good. Shout out to GT Bank. Have you been around? Have you seen? Have you tried out any other food here? Listen, I went first thing I did. I made sure that some uh, suya. Uh, the, the first thing, Welcome. you know, oh, of course, awesome. absolutely, love good, yes, see yes. That guy. He's and it was delicious. Thank you, Legos, for having me. Thank you, GT Bank, for hosting me. It was amazing, and I always want to come back. Guess who we have just spotted? Yes, it is the MD of GT Bank, Mr. Shegu Agbaje, has joined us today. How are you doing today, sir? Fine, thanks. Fine, thank you. Fantastic. Well, can I just say this is amazing? How do you feel about the event? Seeing it unfold today. Well, look, I'm overwhelmed. Um, I didn't think we would have this many people. This was meant to be a proof of concept for us. Clearly, there is a need and really happy, actually. Fantastic. So what made you decide that a food and drink fair would be a great thing to do in Lagos? Well, look, first of all, the whole idea behind this is to start to grow the SME business. And what better place to start than with food? I mean, food is a necessity. Doesn't matter whether you're middle class, lower class, upper class, everybody is into food. Everybody needs food. So it's a nice place to start and we're beginning the journey now to grow the food sector as far as the SME segment goes. Fantastic, and finally, will you, have you tried any food yet? I'm about to start actually, so, but I've got some emoji I mean, in case my stomach runs, just to hold it. But there's lots of good looking food, so I'm sure I'll try a lot. Fantastic. Any particular vendors you're looking out for today? No, I love everybody here, so I'll try everybody. It's a little bit of everybody. <laughs> Just like that, we've come to the end of day one of the GT Bank Food and Drink Fair. Fantastic. Chef Samuelson, it was a packed house for him. But not to worry, there's a lot more coming in day two. Let's go check it out. Hi guys, I'm Felu Storms and you are welcome to the GT Bank Food and Drink Fair 2016. Now, let me tell you about all the exciting things. On day one, we saw several of the masterclasses. We'll still see those today, but also we're going to check out all the cool things that are outside the exhibition tent. It is truly a family event. Make sure you attend next year. Let's go check it out. the atmosphere it's very cool so the vibe around is nice and uh, I've tasted some things I haven't eaten before so that's very good small stuff you can just taste and just have for now so I say ambushing people that are eating because it is about food today real quick how you doing have you eaten today yeah I have what did you have and how did you feel how did you feel about it um, burger and chips it was okay not bad where did you get it from Samantha's or something like that so it's good I'm happy that somebody has finally paid attention to food. Like for the longest time, I'm like, food, food, food. We all eat food. If we're broke, we want food. If we're rich, we want food. So, GTV, woohoo! Well, the masterclass was for, um, well, everybody 10 and above. But I knew that the emphasis was going to be on young adults. So I wanted to do something that would appeal to them. They're also flexible as well. So we made sugar rollout cookies. We made a mint variation for their parents as well. And then we made spaghetti and meatballs as well as spaghetti and a ragu sauce for the older folks. I mean, look at this space that the GT Bank has thrown together. It is um, It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Definitely the best one I've been on. And I've done one or two uh, master classes. So I'm uh, very thankful for them for basically pulling out all the stops. And, uh, and and all the equipment was up to up to scratch, and uh, the, the people were fantastic. It's a lovely experience. No, 
So let me tell you guys a little bit something you may not know. This is a mother-daughter duo and they have a little competing brands. So Atim, what's the name of your little brand? Uh, Afro Lems. Af okay, and Mrs. Uko? One Q Food Platter. Okay, so right now this is a face-off between One Q Food Platter and Afro Lems. Who will be the winner? You decide. Uh, what are you, first of all, what do you think about the uh, GT Bank Food and Drink Fair so far? You know, first, I think it's been well organized. Um, there's no dull moments. And what a time to organize this, a holiday. So there's been quite a lot of turnout, a lot of engagement. But I think the master classes are the killer. Um, a lot of food businesses have come out this year. Food businesses I never heard of. And it was great to see them experience their food, experience what people are doing outside of you know, social media. So I definitely hope it will happen every year and I look forward to next year. The learnings are coming quietly. Um, but I think what GT Bank has done is to further globalize what we've been doing locally and what we've been doing as small bloggers. Um, what I see is that before we know it, Nigerian food would be on the world map and uh, we can only get better. But for me, I think we should still retain our authenticity. I don't want a bar served like a French food. Let me serve a bar in some authentic Nigerian way. Not slap it, but you know, uh, let's leave the authenticity there. Doing things big, the GT Bag of Food and Drink Fair 2016. What do you think of this event My as God. a whole? Shego is a madman. <laughs> But a great, great guy, honestly. He's a, he has great dreams and he's done an amazing job. And like I said, you know, it's like, you know, it's like you, you build it and he says, build it and they will come. Mm. You know, fill those dreams, honestly. And this is a dream, but he's made it happen. And I'm sure next year he's gonna go bigger and bolder and everything. And you know what? I hope I'm here to actually support this cause and make sure that everybody here come back next time around as well. Thank you so much. The first of its kind, the GT Bank Food and Drink Fair 2016 has been two days of incredible. From all types of food, 70 plus vendors, to all the food and drink you can eat and incredible masterclasses. It has been amazing. So we want to say thank you for watching in Danny TV Spotlight on the GT Bank Food and Drink Fair 2016. And hopefully, we'll see you next year. Hey, what's up, guys? They call me DJ Spinner, a.k.a. The Cap. You enjoyed the video you just watched? Please, please subscribe and Danny TV. Just click below and subscribe and you can watch more amazing videos.